Hello, uh, welcome back to Ikmalai Studio. Uh, in the last video, we created our little pole here. Uh, in this video, I think I'm gonna do some stone and uh, put them around uh, just to make uh, the scene a little bit more interesting. I just uh, create a little more few cut um, here to make it a little bit different uh, because it was uh, really straight. But uh, you know the technique, and uh, you can play with yours as well. So if you want to make it uh, different, but let me add uh, some uh, stone, and uh, we're gonna put them around. So first, I need to move the uh, 3D cursor to somewhere clear. We can't, we'll be able to see. Uh, but let me turn on the. Sorry, I'll keep forgetting this one. Uh, I should turn it on first before starting. So the shortcut is gonna be on the uh, right bottom corner. I'm gonna move this one uh, to somewhere around here. Press, uh, hold down shift, and then right click, and that's it. So I'm gonna add Q. Uh, so shift A, and then uh, equals V. It's quite big. I'm gonna scale it down. So press S and scale it down like this. I'm gonna move it up to the ground a G Z to move it up like this and I'm gonna scale uh, on Z only so S Z it's gonna scale it down like this and then S Y to make it a little bit like this um, as you see now it doesn't look like uh, any stone more look like a, a potato but let's play with it and make it a little bit in different shape because it's gonna be low poly so um, I'm gonna use uh, modifier to change um, this one and make it a little bit more interesting uh, shape so let me add uh, decimate first and change some of the setting like this and then I'm gonna add Subdivider or bevel, both of them sometimes they work fine, but this time I'm gonna try bevel and then let me close this. I'm gonna keep it as it is as a default. Uh, the bevel, and I'm gonna add another decimate and then change it again. And uh, we can play with the scale as well, so we can. Uh, apply this and then play with the scale and uh, change it to make it more uh, interesting uh, at the bottom we need to make it a little bit more flat so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a copy of this so we need more than one so just each one's to be different uh, shape let me copy by shift D and then move it to X like this and I'm gonna play with this one a little bit more to make it more uh, interesting. So let's try another uh, decimate before applying uh, these. So I'm gonna change this one to planar and then play with this. I think uh, I'm happy with this one uh, and I'm gonna uh, apply all these so you can just uh, select and apply or the shortcut is control A but your mouse have to be over here so Sorry, it have to be the first one. Because you have to try uh, apply from the top down. So you select like this, Control A. They are, they have to be open. So your mouse should be over which one uh, you you want to apply, and then um, Control A, and then Control A. Okay, and then now if you go to edit mode by pressing top like this and just play with some uh, vertices so make it a little bit more interesting so G and moving vertices around
so it depends uh, on the style and uh, there's many ways you can create a uh, stone uh, so just play with it until you're happy with uh, yours so let me get out of so I'm happy with this one I'm gonna keep this one as it is and let me play with this one as well a little bit to make a different shape so I'm gonna add so I'm gonna uh, apply these first so control A open this don't forget and then control A and then control A and now if I press top and go inside and then select this one and turn on uh, this so to be able to move more than uh, one vertices uh, together so press G because it's too big so if I scale it down like this it's just gonna affect this area so press G make it a little bit bigger so I'm just playing with the shape G and I think um, I'm gonna keep this one as well like this and I'm gonna duplicate this one X and just apply some uh, modifier to make a little bit different so decimate again and then change some setting so you have a different one and I'm gonna apply subdivider uh, this time like this and then I'm gonna add another decimate like this this is all just about to play with and make it look like the way you want to be and then I'm gonna apply these by control A all of them and then go into uh, by top go into edit mode and then select some vertices and move them around and then you can scale them uh, in different way as well so just to make it a little bit different from each other I think the top is gonna too flat so I'm gonna uh, uh, deselect this one so just to move each one separately individually uh, I don't want all to be affected I think I'm I'm happy with this one as well so you have uh, three um, I'm gonna duplicate this one and Y and just scale it in uh, Y like this it's become a different one so you can play with these uh, and make them just a little bit different from each other and you should be okay to go this is quite different there are many flat uh, faces but I think because the stone they are not never similar um, to each other so uh, I'm gonna keep this one as well I'm gonna duplicate uh, this one create another one from this and then I'm gonna press top going inside and just move some vertices around I'm gonna turn on this again just to move uh, more down vertices together which is quicker just make it different from the other one and you should be fine I think that should be okay so now I think these are enough if you want to do more uh, you can't create more but I think I'm happy with uh, these and I'm gonna just copy them and put them around uh, the area I want to be and then we can scale them down and up uh, to make them different uh, uh, in size as well 
uh, let me try um, out another modifier to this one and see how it's gonna look like by subdividing and then add another this weight just to make it a little bit different and this time I'm gonna try playing it let's see how it's gonna look like yeah I think I'm gonna keep this one as it is and then just apply this uh, modifier by control A and that's it okay so let's uh, copy some of these around and then put them to make a more interesting uh, uh, scene so first I'm gonna select all of them like this shift D and then X to copy them and then G Y move them around here so I'm just gonna put some in this corner so G X move it like this G Y scale it down make sure they are on the uh, ground level so try make uh, see from different angle to be able to see they are on the ground so I'm gonna select both of them G Z and move them down until they are just touching the uh, ground so G Z and I'm gonna put this one somewhere on the G Y G X and you can rotate them R Z so just to make it look like different and then G Z like this and I'm gonna put one more here so G X G Z And now you know the idea, so if you can carry on do this, uh, put them around uh, wherever you want, or you can, if you want to watch the, you know me, um, what I'm doing, uh, you are free as well. G, Z, G, Y, and they are okay, so just leave them there. And I'm gonna put some around this area as well. So I'm gonna select some of these as well again. And then shift D Y and then G X. Of them somewhere around here. And then by pressing uh full stop or del on your uh, number part, you're gonna zoom in to the select object. <laughs> so I'm gonna rotate this or Z like this and some around here and I think I'm gonna uh, stop here and when I come back I'm gonna show you what I've done because what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna copy these stone and put them in uh, area around uh, the scene and this is just like a homework for you uh, to do as well uh, because there's no point just uh, watching me all the way like you know putting uh, these uh, stone around okay so i will see you in the uh, next video after putting all these uh, stone uh, wherever i want uh, they to be i'll see you soon